This is not what we expected to find when we went out to do a story on Spain's economic crisis. But for Juan Jose Carasa, out of work for two years as a waiter, these chickens in his backyard are a means of survival for his family. They make every egg count. Even if you look for a job, it is very hard to find one because so many people are out of work. The truth is, you don't know where to turn. Spain's unemployment rate stands at 21.5%, but a staggering 45% for youth. The country's nearly 5 million jobless crowd the unemployment offices. Businesses large and small struggle to survive. This food distributor on the eastern Mediterranean coast has laid off 10% of staff. I have never seen anything like this crisis. There's a lack of movement. It's absolutely vital to invent solutions day by day. Economic protests started last May 15th, fueled by social media. The so-called indignant ones, criticizing an economic and political system they say favors only the privileged. Now the so-called May 15th movement has come to this, a bustling encampment at Madrid's Puerto del Sol and at emblematic plazas in Barcelona and other Spanish cities. Protests by day and by night. The encampments eventually were lifted, but the protests, largely peaceful, continued. The socialist prime minister, squeezed by the financial crisis and his unpopular austerity measures, reluctantly called early elections in November, and he didn't even run. The conservatives, promising to fix the economy, won in a landslide. But they say there's still more austerity to come. A country in crisis throughout 2011 faces a new year of uncertainty. I think there's a pent-up rage. The workers and young people of this country are fed up. It's been years of frustration over cutbacks and lower salary. Al Goodman, CNN, Madrid.